Hello everyone, this is NecroStevo and it's time for a narrated Pokemon Wi-Fi battle video. I, uh, random thought I was just listening to the soundtrack from Andre 3000's The Love Below. I really like the songs on that track. I don't know why you all needed to know that. Uh, but roses really smell like ooh boo boo. Now this doubles battle from the, uh, ICL, I noticed that my opponent was running a very obvious rain team. And so Pyroar would not be a good Pokemon to bring in this instance, but a Skyblur really likes that because his one weakness, Fire, is lessened by the rain. So I start off with Gengar and Pyro, uh, excuse me, and a Skyblur, hoping to not only uh, get the jump on something slower on his team, but also hoping to trap something in with Parish Song so that I can deal with it before he's able to utilize the rain the way he likes to. Now, unfortunately for me, he does get an Intimidate with Mega Manectric onto. Uh, my uh, Scavalier, so I'm not going to be able to hit quite as hard, and I was really worried about uh, Politoed going for Scalds and getting Burns. Now that minus one Megahorn actually does a really nice chunk to uh, the Politoed. As I tried to Shadow Ball the Scavalier, I tried to just hit them both there. Um, with my Gengar's HP as low as it was, there was no point in staying in there. Granted, I really would like to trap them in. But I figured that the Manetric had Volt Switch, that's a pretty common move on Manetric. And uh, Gudra doesn't really care about any attacks coming from either of those two Pokemon. Now it does suck that I get burned here. Of course my Gudra runs Power Whip. Uh, don't really like to see the burn because now Power Whip is kind of useless, forcing me to rely on Dragon Pulse. I do go for yet another Mega Horn. I hit Ferrothorn on the Switch and fortunately he's not carrying Rocky Helmet. Uh, and I'm going to switch out of here. If I have minus one attack, I, I'm hitting for neutral damage right now. Not a lot of point of staying in, really. Uh, Gudru does have Dragon Pulse, though, to get some solid neutral damage on Politoed, but right there we can tell that he's definitely a specially defensive build. Um, Scald, once again being boosted by the rain, but uh, I have a pretty bulky Aromatisse, which is what allows me to run Pixie Plate to pick up those extra KOs. Uh, he tries to go for Leaf Seed on my Gudra to get some residual damage going, but that's where Sap Sipper comes in handy, and one more uh, Grass Movement, I'll be back up to my neutral attack level. Although the rain is up, Ferrothorn is four times weak to Flamethrower, so I decided to go for it, and I am lucky and I get the burn that doesn't end up mattering. Uh, my Gudra's HP was actually getting kind of low because of the burn, and so I took that opportunity to just heal him up with the Heal Pulse. I could have gone for... Uh, Moonblast, of course, and hit the Politoed, and maybe knocked it out, but with Gudra walling so many of his Pokemon, it's much more important to keep Gudra nice and healthy. Now, it is unfortunate that he hits this Hypnosis, because I definitely was going to Moonblast him that turn. Uh, I tend to get hit by Hypnosis quite a bit during uh, tournaments. I'd never use Hypnosis myself because the accuracy is so low, unless the sun is a gravity team on something or something like that, but my opponent seemed to hit it quite often. It's kind of weird to me, really. Uh, Gudra is asleep, unfortunately, but he, uh, I'm sorry, not Gudra. Gudra still burned, uh, and now my Aromatisse is asleep, which means I can't heal my Gudra anymore, and I can't even use Wish to get my HP back or anything like that, so a little bit annoying there, but that's okay. Uh, I kind of still threaten his whole team between Gudra and my um, Escavalier actually, because Manetri's not going to be able to do much against Escavalier in the rain. It, it's going to take two Thunders, I think, to KO my Escavalier. And now that I force him to bring it back out now, my Escavalier can switch back in later and actually threaten something, so that's pretty nice. Now we see that the rain is still up, that means that the Politoed's held item was definitely Damp Rock. Uh, that's good to know. I tried to hit the Ferrothorn with the Flamethrower, but he brought in Manetric on that turn. 
and uh, so I don't end up doing that much damage to Manetric at all. But we see how much damage that Moonblast does to Ludicolo, and that is not even with a full special attack investment. I have more HP, defense, and special defense than I do special attack. So um, unfortunately, that HP investment allows G uh, Giga Drain to get a significant amount of HP back for Ludicolo. Which is a little unfortunate, especially in conjunction with Life Orb, because I'm a little bit more longevity there. But that's okay. Uh, he's still at a range where he's going to be very easy to revenge kill with um, my Gengar, uh, or even with a Scavalier if I get the opportunity to do so. Now, my opponent makes another good play, predicting me to go for a Dragon Pulse, pops back out into his Ferrothorn, knowing that he needs to bring his Manetric back in to intimidate my Scavalier. Now, I will say that I feel like he kind of misplayed leaving Gudra on the field for so long. If he had attacked it a little bit more, especially while my Aromatis was asleep, it would have been KO'd several turns ago, but he kind of gave my Gudra an, a chance to do a little bit of chip damage here and there. Not really what you want to see. Now, Ferrothorn does Leech Seed my Escavalier, but right now, with Ludicolo having Swift Swim and outspeeding my Gengar, that's really going to be the more pressing uh, subject to KO. Now, I did go ahead and um, KO the Ferrothorn, because I believe I was actually counting the rain turns, and I knew that the rain was going to run out then, and so I, I, I'm pretty sure I counted the rain turns. I'm pretty good about doing that during an actual battle. This was a while ago, so I don't remember exactly. But uh, um, as the Escavalier comes in um, and KOs the Ferrothorn, the rain ends, which means my Mega Gengar can switch back in, which I saved from the beginning of the battle, and now I outspeed the Ludicolo. So now he's forced to choose between, okay, am I going to KO the Mega Gengar and hope that Escavalier misses the uh, Mega Horn, or am I going to KO the Escavalier and hope that Mega Gengar, I don't know, doesn't hit the Shadow Ball? I don't know how that will work. Uh, he protects just to get a little bit more Leap Seed recovery not going to help him out too much in this regard so this battle is going to be wrapped up because he he basically has to hope for a uh, I think he needs two Mega Horn misses in order for me to lose this battle but fortunately I'm able to hit which means that battle is going to be mine so there's a little bit of a Scavalier action in VGC for you guys there he kinda just came out and used Mega Horn a lot but that's what mine does outside of using Quick Guard uh, it, and it, I like it especially because he pairs well with the combination of Pokemon that I have, and if I get to use Trick Room, then of course he's extremely slow. I didn't need to use Trick Room in that battle, I was counting the turns of rain that were going on, so it was not necessary, but it is always good to be aware of what your opponent's options are going to be, and of course it's not a good idea to bring something like a Pyroar to a rain battle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and hopefully I will have more up for you soon. The view counts on my videos has dropped horrendously. I don't even get 100 views per video anymore. Um, but, you know, I'm for those of you who are watching, thank you very much for watching my content. I'm definitely going to keep it coming for you guys. So have a great day, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye now.